Well, Mattel's new talking Barbie doll, is it cool or creepy? Barbie, what should I be when I grow up? Well, you told me you like being on stage, so maybe a dancer? Or a politician? Or how about a dancing politician? I always say, anything is possible. It's pretty impressive, but... Our next guest says the doll could be eavesdropping on your children. Joining us now, Associate Director for the Campaign for a Commercial-Free Childhood, Josh Golan. Josh, thanks for being with us. So when thanks it hits, for having me. When it hits the market this fall, it's going to cost $74.99, and it will, have a, it will be web-enabled. And the problem is that it could be spying on our kids. Is that right? Well, when kids are talking to Hello Barbie, they're not only going to be talking to a doll. They're going to be talking to an international corporation whose only interest in the child is financial. So everything that that child says is going to be recorded, sent over Wi-Fi, stored on the cloud, and then analyzed to figure out that child's likes and dislikes. And the potential is that that sensitive information, a child's own words in their own voice, will be exploited for marketing purposes and also that it could be compromised. Here's what the children's privacy policy says. According to Barbie, we may use, store, process, and transcribe recordings in order to provide and maintain service to improve speech recognition technology or for other research and development and data analysis purposes. That according to Toy Talk. What do you think? Uh, I think that doesn't go nearly f far enough. I mean, one concern that we have is what if a, uh, a girl tells Barbie that she likes soccer or that she likes uh, ballet? Is the doll then going to suggest or uh, start talking back to her about her friend's Barber uh, ballet Barbie or soccer Barbie? Um, there are all, way all sorts of ways that Mattel could be using this information to push products on kids. But maybe some parents don't mind. You know, we've done stories that seem super creepy about hackers getting uh, somehow getting a hold of baby monitors or the webcams on laptop computers or desktop computers even. But this is, this is voluntary. The parents are the ones buying the toy, right? Well, uh, certainly the parents would be the ones buying the toy, and we hope that they won't buy the toy, and we hope that all of the negative publicity that Hello Barbie has gotten this week will uh, help them make the decision not to buy the toy. But we have a unique opportunity. This product isn't out on the market right now. Um, it's not coming out into the fall. Mattel uh, could listen to the feedback that they've been getting this week. I mean, this I've never seen an outcry about a doll like this. Uh, and Mattel could, could listen to this negative feedback, realize that they're putting out a product that is potentially very harmful to children, and they could do the right thing and not put this out. Um, there's precedent for this. Several years ago, Hasbro was going to put out a doll that was based on the Pussycat Dolls, a real-life burlesque troupe. Uh, we did a campaign. Uh, people were outraged that Hasbro was going to do this, and Hasbro did the right thing. They decided not to release the doll. If, if Hasbro can do it, uh, Mattel can do it, too. Uh, it, it's actually a smart business decision. They're going to hurt their brand by putting out such a creepy doll. <laughs> Josh Golan, uh, great to see you this morning, Associate Director of the CCFC. We appreciate you joining us this morning. Thanks so much. Thank you.